If you're a fan of these videos, please consider donating to my Patreon campaign. Once we hit $50 per video, I'll show you guys how to make a Raspberry Pi supercomputer. This is a smartphone. This revolutionary innovation brings an entire online world to our fingertips. Weather, email, selfies, music, as far as personal assistants go, it can do practically anything we ask. Now if it could just move and manipulate objects for us, then we'd have the perfect device. This is an Arduino. Combine these two and cue the perfect device. As I've covered before, an Arduino allows us to control and manipulate electronics. We can add different buttons, switches, and sensors to assist in controlling it. But what if we could take it beyond buttons and switches? What if we could control an Arduino wirelessly from a smartphone? Well, you can, and here's how. Aside from the smartphone and the Arduino, we'll need a way to link the two. For this, we'll be using a Bluetooth module. And then to test it out, we'll need something to control, say this RC car. And that being the case, we're also going to need this Arduino motor controller, some extra wires, a breadboard, and a 9 volt battery to power the whole thing. If you want a more basic example, you can watch this guide where we use the Bluetooth connection to control a simple LED. Alright, let's dig right in and set up the Bluetooth module. You'll notice how the pins on it are graciously labeled for us. You have the power, the ground, the receiver, and the transmitter. And here's how they'll connect to the Arduino. You want the power to go to the 5 volt pin, the ground to go to the ground, RX to the TX pin, and then TX to the RX pin. This should establish Bluetooth connectivity. Now for the RC car. After disassembling it, I noticed that it had two DC motors in it for controlling the wheels. I removed the logic board from the car and disconnected the motor cables from it. Then I connected those to this motor controller, which will help the Arduino to control them. I connected one motor to the out A and out B terminals, and the other motor to the out C and out D terminals. These out terminals correspond with the end pins here in the middle. I connected NA through ND to the Arduino digital pins 2 through 5 respectively. And similar to the Bluetooth module, you can connect VCC to the 5 volt output of the Arduino and then ground to the ground pin. However, if you need more power, you can connect the VCC to an external power source. In this case, I just used the RC car's built-in battery pack. Arrange all this nicely into the car, and from a hardware side, believe it or not, that's all you have to do. The rest is all software. Speaking of which, jump over to your computer of choice, and with Arduino software installed, start a new sketch, and copy in this program provided by Instructables user Tolik777. Be sure to swing by his Instructables page at the link below, and thank him because he also provides the Android software we'll be using shortly. Verify it to make sure that there are no errors and then go ahead and connect your Arduino to the computer. Now go to Tools, Board, and make sure that the correct Arduino version is selected. And then go to Serial Port and make sure the correct Serial Port is selected. After that, click Upload to upload it to the Arduino. If you get an error like this, don't worry. Just temporarily unplug the Bluetooth RX and TX connections, re-upload the sketch, and then plug them back in when it's through. Now you can disconnect the Arduino and connect your battery pack, either through the power jack if you have an adapter, or by wiring the positive wire to the VIN pin and the negative wire to the ground. If all is successful, both your Arduino and Bluetooth power light should come on. Now grab your Android device and navigate to this link to download the Arduino software by Tolik777. After it installs, make sure Bluetooth is turned on on your device. Before we launch the program, we need to get the MAC address of the Bluetooth device. As I mentioned in my beginner's video, ArduDroid is a good app to do this. So from the app menu, select connect me to a Bluetooth device and scan for new devices. If you're using the same Bluetooth device I am, it should be called Lenvor, and its MAC address should be right below it. We'll need this, so either remember it or write it down. 
Okay, now launch the CXM car app that we downloaded and from the app menu, go to settings and select the MAC address and enter in the MAC address of your Bluetooth device. At any point, if it asks you for a PIN number, the default PIN is 1234. Now, if you go back to the main menu, you'll see a bunch of different control options. I'm gonna just use button control because it's the most stable. Then just press the button to navigate the car. If you're adventurous enough, you can even give the accelerometer controls a try. Aside from an RC car, what else would you want to control with your smartphone? Let me know in the comments below. Click here to watch last week's video and comment show, and if you enjoy these videos, please consider donating, subscribing, or liking this video. Thanks for watching, and for more, go to Tinkernut.com, where technology and creativity collide.